More importantly, I stand before you this afternoon with my sisters and brothers in the fight to stand up and be a strong voice for women's health care as a mother, as a member of Congress, and as a breast cancer survivor. Because Republicans all across this country, from Washington, D.C. to my home state of Florida and Governor Rick Scott, are threatening the lives over videos that independent experts have consistently and repeatedly called heavily edited. Those wishing to defund Planned Parenthood argue this isn't an attack on women's health. Ha! <laughs> they don't think that this would hurt the health of women and families in America. But we all know that they are dead wrong. And we know, we know that because we've watched this movie before. We, we've seen this movie play out all across the country as Mark Vesey just, uh, just mentioned in Texas. Just to make sure we underscore that point, when they defunded Planned Parenthood, it led to tens of thousands of women not getting care. In Tennessee, when they defunded Planned Parenthood, it led to a 1,400% drop in services, most of which were women's preventative health services. And community health centers nationwide, mark my words, have made it very clear that if Medicaid is no longer able to provide health care services through organizations that provide abortion services, there is no possible way that they can absorb the millions of women who will need to go to those community health centers to get their care. This is not what I want for the 7,000 South Floridians relying on the Pembroke Pines Clinic in my district. Not what I want for my daughters, not what I want for my sister survivors, and all the sisters who are ultimately able to catch their breast cancer early because they have a chance to go to a Planned Parenthood clinic for a clinical exam, for a breast exam, to get referred for mammography. We need Planned Parenthood. The 2.7 million women annually who get their care from a Planned Parenthood clinic need make, to make sure that, that that care remains there. Stephanie Ann Diaz, a young woman from South Florida, who needs that care, is here today to talk about that from South Florida, and we are all here. You have turned on a dime and come here at a moment's notice because we, we, because we know that women across this country need us to stand up and lend our voices and unite our voices together to lock elbows and make sure that not only do we not shut down the government, but we make sure that Planned Parenthood and the health care that they provide all across this country is able to be provided seamlessly to millions of women from now on, forever and ever. Thank you so much.